Hi guys, I just thought that I would offload this, offload it, upload it to download it upon you guys. I, I've, I went into my uh, hard drive downloads and wow, I have a lot of downloads. So I thought, well, this is interesting. What is 100009? What is this? This is Articles of Incorporation filed uh, July 15, 25. July 15, 1925. It is seven pages. Certificate of Incorporation of United States Corporation Company filed in Office Secretary of State of the State of Florida. Yes, we are a corporation. We're not a government. We are not a government. We are a corporation. The nature of the business and the objects and purposes proposed to be transacted, promoted, or carried on by the corporation are as follows. And if you want to read the entire thing, you can. But it's standard. I did take some excerpts, so let me just read some of this. This is your United States government. Yeah. To acquire by purchase, subscription, or otherwise, and to hold for investment or otherwise, and to use, sell, or dispose of shares of stock, bonds, or any other obligations or securities of any corporation, domestic or foreign, to do any other acts or things for the preservation, protection, improvement, or enhancement of the value of any such shares of stock, bonds, or other obligations, or to do any acts or things designed for any such purpose, and while owner of any such share of stock, bonds, or other obligations, to exercise all the rights, powers, and privileges of ownership thereof, and to exercise any and all voting powers. The maximum number of shares, 100. 100 shares. The corporation is to have perpetual, perpetual existence. The principal office, the Centennial Building, Tallahassee, Leon County, Florida. The number of directors shall be three. The names of the directors, Harry O. Uh, Coughlin, Samuel Howard, Arthur Britton. I tried to do some research on these guys, and very interesting, I couldn't find any. I couldn't find any. No, if, oh, well, I actually did come across an article in the New York Times on Arthur Britton, but I had to subscribe to get it. It's the Wayback Machine for the New York Times. The directors and stockholders, they keep the books of the corporation. <laughs> we have two books, you know, the one that well, the public gets to see. And then that secret ledger that is recorded uh, behind that curtain. You know the taxes that we pay? <laughs> yeah. Well, this is one of the reasons why we pay more and more and more in taxes and we get less and less and less in services because, well, the shareholders of this corporation. And it is the duty of the CEO, Trump, um, to increase profits for the shareholders. The director shall also have power to fix the times for the declaration and payment of dividends and to fix and vary the amount to be reserved as working capital to determine the use and disposition of any surplus or net profits over and above the capital stock paid in and 
in their discretion, the directors may use and apply any such surplus or accumulated profits in purchasing or acquiring the bonds or other obligations, shares of the capital stock of the corporation to such extent and in such manner and upon such terms as the directors shall deem expedient. We the undersigned. Three directors. We've got a CEO. This U.S. government is a U.S. corporation that is about profit like all corporations are. Our federal agencies are for profit. It is why we are not represented. Oh, they do that fancy thing called, well, it's not so fancy anymore because it's so in our face, but get out and vote, get out and vote because you're voting for someone that you want to represent you. And we know, we know now it is not a secret that those in Congress do not represent the people, they represent corporations. And those representatives in Congress, they work for the corporation. Everything is about profit for the corporation. So if I can't find this, <clears throat> I will link to it below. Ciao, guys.